folks, how are you? This is Jim Miner, your real estate agent from South Scottsdale, bringing you the week ending Crawford Report prepared by Michael Orr from Arizona State University. Hey, let's jump right into this thing before our AC breaks. Cross our fingers, hope it never does. It's humid outside. Uh, Michael's brought us some interesting things. Um, because of what's happened, we've got some compression going on in the marketplace, and obviously, when we compress far enough, something's going to happen. So we're looking for clues as to which direction that could be that our real estate market would move. So that being stated, let's look up here. We'll start with the first line. Michael has pointed out right up here that the mortgage, uh, excuse me, the mortgage, the uh, appraisers in the valley for the first time ever has fallen below 400. Okay, and then also the Mortgage Bankers Association is reporting the fewest mortgage applications since 2000. So, obviously, if you don't have a large number of loans, there aren't homes being purchased, you don't need the same number of appraisers. We're seeing the number drop, we're seeing the loans drop, that means the demand is down, and that's step number one. Now, number two, let's go over to this chart that he's prepared. Now, I'm not going to go through every single city on here, but I am going to scroll down so you can go through every city that's important to you. But I do want to point out what this chart is telling us. You have up here the city. This is April of this year, which you had for active listings in each one of these cities, and it includes the second tier cities. This is 7, 12, 14 right now, and you see the change in number, and you see the percentage change, okay? So you can see Rio Verde up here. That's really small, but you can follow this chart down and see where the highest percentages are. One thing I do want to stop out because South Scottsdale, here's Scottsdale, minus 18%. We have you know, approximately 450 fewer listings now than we did on April 12th. Now, folks, that's a good thing because we're having the inventory decline. The buyer demand is still very soft, but eventually we're going to get to the point where this is going to turn into more of a state of equilibrium and the sellers are going to have their day, as they say. And then we can scroll on down. I'm going to scoot on over here so we can scroll this down. So you folks can pause or whatever you want to do to see where you are. But one thing I want to point out is because the cities aren't far apart. You're looking at the place in South Scottsdale. Yeah, you know, I don't know if I want to buy there or not, but maybe the prices, etc. I'll run down to Chandler and take a look. Okay, you run down to Chandler and take a look and look at this. Inventory has grown by 16%. There are 148 more listings than there were April 12th okay and you can see these at the bottom and you can see where the number turns from positive to negative right here but that's key folks and that's what we're trying to do with these reports is to give you a leg up as they say on the competition so you can sense which direction this market is going and that kind of an impact on your decision making as to whether you're a buyer or a seller Okay, now one of the things is that is kind of fun and kind of interesting. Michael always throws us one of these little, you know, diamonds in the rough, as they say. And I want to read this to you. Okay, down here we have many of the uh, active adult areas, and those attract a lot of out of state buyers have seen large decreases, which is normal for this time of the year. Okay, sure. However, we also see large decreases in areas that do not usually follow this pattern, especially in Pinal County areas such as Casa Grande, Florence, Coolidge, Apache Junction, and Maricopa. These Pinal cities have in the past been the first to show new trends, both good and bad, up and down, which often spread later to all areas. This may or may not be the case now, but we find their declines encouraging. So do I. So that's a good thing here. So we've got some notes there. So take a look at the chart and find out where your city is or areas you're interested in. But these are the things you need to monitor on a weekly basis. OK, now we're going to scoot on up and take a look at the dashboard here. So give me an opportunity to make a few clicks here and we'll bring this into perspective. OK, come on, like we always have to be nice to the computer, as they say. OK, let me scroll down. And we will get to the dashboard that shows the Cromford Index. Okay, now I always state this because we always have new folks coming on board. Folks, for those of you just starting to watch this for the first time, key thing to remember 100 
is your baseline. Anything above 100 starts to move into a seller's market. Anything below 100 starts to move into a buyer's market. Now, obviously, the farther you move away from 100, the more strong it is for whichever case it may be. Okay, so learn to use this dashboard. It's got a lot of goodness in it. Okay, look at our market. Our market's moving up. For you folks know each one of these little dots, those are days on this particular chart. Okay, you see this, we're at 89.9 and moving up. Now, let's look at the demand. Okay, we're, uh, we have 80.5. Here's the demand. Kind of going along here, maybe a very, very modest upside uh, slope, but basically flat. Okay, now look at supply. It just continues straight down and you can see 89.5 so what you have in the marketplace right now going on here here's supply here's demand here's the market what you have going on is you have the buyer weakness is starting to flatten out yet inventory is declining so eventually what's going to happen if you took this all the way down and you end up with 50 listings and 500 buyers guess what prices are going up now obviously I'm making a case there okay but that's example of what's going on right now in the marketplace so you sure want to keep an eye on that and you want to look at that chart that I just provided to you it talks about what's happening in your particular city okay so let's go on down here we'll take a pending listings by far and away this is my favorite thing to watch why because it's usually the first clue as to a market turn, whether it be up or whether it be down. Okay. Now, each once again, each one of these little dots is a day. Okay. It's not a month. It's a day. You can see where we are and you can see the change. Now, we're still about, you know, about 30, 32% off a normal type of pending sales. We should be up in that 9, 10, 11, uh, thousand mark. And we're down here, as you can see at 6,713 pretty low but when that pending listing starts to be moving up here guess what that's telling you dem buyer demand is coming into the market and buyer demand coming into the market means we're going to see prices starting to go up okay so this this is a really good short-term indicator keep an eye on it okay let's move on down we want to take a look at days on market days on market now this one you see is by the month each one of these is by the month. Okay, these are not days. Let's call it what it is. That's flat. Okay, and this is right here, as you can see, is February 15th. It's just staying hovering in there around 84. Okay, hey, that's about it for this week. Some good, good stuff there. And I'm trying to get you folks trained up to watch these things because it really is going to help you in your decision making. Okay, that's it for now. This is Jim Miner, your agent from South Scottsdale. And if you have any questions or want to get in touch with me, learn more about some of this, like many of my clients do, give me a buzz 602. 345-0433 and I enjoyed having you. You guys try and keep the ACs working, stay out of that humidity and I will be talking to you next weekend. Have a good week. Thank you folks.